Hey, what's up, folks? Today I'm gonna be giving you 10 Arena Breakout Infinite Tips, which are gonna make you instantly a better player in the game. I have approximately 1000 hours in Arena Breakout Mobile, and believe me, these are gonna definitely help. I had to learn them the hard way, but there you go. I'm just gonna give them for you if you are one of those who is jumping into the world of Arena Breakout just now. Let me share with you guys that I have five additional Arena Breakout Infinite Beta Keys, which I'm gonna give away next week. Maybe you already have your key, but maybe you have friends, cats, dogs, whoever who wants to jump into the game. Please share if they are interested. You're gonna find details if you check my community post or you can jump straight into my Discord. But now, 10 tips for Arena Breakout Infinite. Let's go. First of all, you wanna need to understand the maps, the player spawns, the bot spawns, the boss spawns, because without that, you're gonna be lost. You're gonna be just destroyed. You have to understand the maps, the hot zones, the nice spots, but most and foremost the player spawns okay second you need to learn about the armor forget about everything that is not at least t3 but even t3 is just for like very beginning t4 t5 understand what those are how they are going to protect you against what type of ammunition and what is very important you need to have a balance in your loadout so it shouldn't happen that you have a T5 helmet and a T3 armor. I recently published one loadout, don't dress as a Timmy or something like that. I'm gonna put it on screen. Uh, watch that because it also applies to Arena Breakout Infinite. Third one, weapons. So we had the assumption that the guns are gonna be pretty much the same as we have in the mobile version, but they are just different. It's different to control them, the recoil is different. So what I recommend is to try each and every of the weapons and then you just need to figure out what works for you. Maybe assault rifles, maybe SMGs, maybe shotguns, maybe snipers, maybe any of the other one-tap weapons. It's up to you. My personal preference at this point is the SVDS and the Mini 14 because they are like one tap and I don't need to mess with that terrible recoil. Fourth item, ammunition. Ammunition is key, guys. Even if they are super expensive, ammunition is gonna be the thing that kills the enemy players. It's not your armor, not your helmet, not your backpack, doesn't really matter, and not even your gun. Your gun matters, but the ammunition matters even more. So put that money, that coin into action, at least buy purple ammunition, T3 ammunition, but try to get used to the fact that you need to switch to T4 so the yellow ones to be successful in the game. The fifth tip is market. You need to learn about the items, how to sell them, what is worth selling, what to loot basically. You need to understand which are the items you need to sell to the contacts and which are the ones that should go to the market. And then this is gonna help you like prioritizing your loot during the game. Talking about contacts, tip number six is always checking the Quinson stock. It's refreshing and out of all of the contacts, he is the only one who is offering stuff that is actually worth buying. You don't even need to check the others because if you're in the gunsmith and if there's something that can be picked up from a contact, then the game will automatically purchase that accessory from the contacts. Tip number seven is PVP. Play the game slowly, okay? You are not invincible. You're gonna be rushing and you're gonna be destroyed. You're gonna die and die and die and die. Play it slow, okay? It's not a shame if you are in the game until the timer is almost up, but it's gonna be more safe. You're gonna learn the game. You're gonna understand where the sounds are coming from. You're gonna be able to evaluate the danger around you. It's much better to start slowly. And then if you're gonna have confidence, then you can speed up and start rushing or being more pushy more and more. And don't get me wrong, you still need to push, okay? Even if you play it slow, if that moment comes where you need to attack, then you need to rush, okay? Tip number eight is looting. So after you have a kill, a successful kill, then don't blindly run to that body and start looting because in most cases, that guy is gonna have teammates and you're gonna be dead before you can even check your loot, your loot. It's not actually yours, but anyways. So always check your surroundings to make sure that that guy you killed doesn't have any teammates around. Tip number nine is keys. Even if you find them, don't use them in the normal mode, okay? Put them aside, put them into your storage or sell them. On the other hand, you should be starting to use keys if you are playing Lockdown or Forbidden Zone. 
the harder the game mode, the better the loot is gonna be. Learn about the keys because not all of them are equally valuable. On my channel, if you look around, you're gonna find a farm guide with keys then you can kind of see which are worth buying at least for farm as a starter and tip number 10 is to learn about the extracts because some of the extractions have requirements and they change depending on the game mode so be aware of those requirements because it can happen that you run to one of the extracts and then surprise surprise you cannot get out of the map this is it guys 10 quick tips on how to instantly get better in arena breakout infinite shoot loot subscribe shady out bye